In this video we will introduce Android Wrap Content Fill Parent. In Android, you always put either Wrap Content or Fill Parent on Components Attribute, Layout Width and Layout Height. Setting the layout of a widget to Fill Parent will force it to expand to take up as much space as is available within the layout element it's been placed in. It's roughly equivalent of setting the dock style of a Windows Form Control to Fill. Setting a view size to Wrap Content will force it to expand only far enough to contain the values or child controls it contains. For controls like text boxes, text view or images image view, this will wrap the text or image being shown. For layout elements, it will resize the layout to fit the controls layouts added as its children. It's roughly the equivalent of setting a Windows form controls auto size property to true. Let's look at a basic example. Here I have a button and I also have another button. This button here has a layout width of fill parent. The component will display as large as its parent and fill in the remaining spaces. The button's width will fill in the remaining spaces just as big as its parent, but the button's height is still big enough to enclose its contents only. That's why we have wrap content here on the layout height. Now let's take a look at this other button. Here on the layout width, I have wrap content. This component will display large enough to enclose its content only. Now taking a look here at the second button, I also attached an on-click listener and set it to click to the second activity. And we will be able to see that when you play around with the layout, you have to be careful on the power of fill parent and wrap content. Remember that this is being seen on either a tablet or a mobile phone and that the real estate on the user interface is very precious and critical to manipulate so that the user can have spacing between the UI elements. This concludes our discussion of Android Wrap Content Fill Parent.